Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the area of a rhombus, trapezium, parallelogram and composite figures. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and the answer is at the end. The area of a rhombus. Now here we have the diagram representing a rhombus. It's actually similar to a square but it's been pushed over a bit as you can see that. And the opposite sides are parallel. Now if this rhombus here has a base of B and a perpendicular height of H. Notice this is the perpendicular height. The area of the rhombus is B times H. So here's an example. If B equals 8 centimetres and H equals 6 centimetres, the area is 8 times 6, which is 48 square centimetres. Now another way of finding the area of a rhombus. If you are given the length of the two diagonals, here they are here, the two diagonals of the rhombus, another way of finding the area is you multiply the two diagonals together and you divide by 2. So if the first diagonal is 10 centimetres, the next diagonal is 7 centimetres, the area is 10 times 7 divided by 2, which is 70 divided by 2, which is 35 square centimetres. Now it's interesting to note, I haven't put that on here, but see here, these diagonals, they intersect at right angles. So it's a very interesting bit of information there. That's actually a right angle between those two diagonals. Area of a trapezium. Now a trapezium is a four-sided figure and it has a pair of sides that are parallel. These opposite sides here, they are parallel to each other uh, as signified here by the arrows. Now if you have this length here and the top length and here you have the perpendicular height so there are the three measurements you need if you have those you can find the area of the trapezium and this is what you do you add the two parallel sides together so you add the sum of the two parallel sides multiply that answer by the height and then divide by 2 and that gives you the area of the trapezium so if A is 10, B is 8, and C is 6, they're all centimetres, the area is 10 plus 8, so you add the two parallel sides together, multiplied by 6, and then you have the answer. 10 plus 8, there's your 18, times 6 over 2. Now 6 times 18 is 108, divided by 2, and the answer is 54 square centimetres. Area of a parallelogram. For the parallelogram, this is a, it's a four-sided figure. Now the opposite sides of the parallelogram are parallel. Now these sides here, they are also parallel. See? So the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Now to find the area of a parallelogram all you need is the length of the base and the perpendicular height. And would you believe the area is B times H. That is the area of the parallelogram. So if B is 10, H is 6, the area is 10 times 6 which is 60 square centimetres. Now here is a composite figure. A composite plane figure is made up of two or more simple plane figures. So in order to find the area of this composite figure here, you notice it is made up of two rectangles. That rectangle there, which I've called A1, and this rectangle here, which I've called A2. Now let's look at this top rectangle, A1. 
Notice that the length of this rectangle here is 20 centimetres. But we need to find the height of this rectangle. We haven't actually been given this height. That is, we need to find this length. Now have a look carefully. If that length there is 16, and that length there is 9, 16 take away 9, and guess what? That is 7 centimetres there. So that's 7 centimetres. So we have the measurements of that rectangle, 20 centimetres by 7 centimetres. Now the second rectangle, which is A2, that's quite simple because we already have 9 centimetres and 8 centimetres. So here are our two rectangles. So the area of the composite figure is as follows. The area of A1 is 20 times 7, which is 140 square centimetres. Because remember, the area of a rectangle is the base times the width, or base times height. A2, which is this one here, that is just 9 times 8, which is 72 square centimetres. If you add the area of A1 and A2 together, you get the answer. 212 square centimetres. Quick quiz. Here are three answers or three qu uh, questions and I'll require the answer for each of them. So three questions to test your understanding. Check through the video at any time please and the answers are at the end. What is the meaning of the following? Red in the face. Here's a little clue here. I think that's fairly obvious, isn't it? Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And please check through the video at any time to test your understanding. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.